Tensions are at an all-time high in Niger after military coup broke out in the West African country on July 26. President Mohamed Bazoum was deposed by members of the country's presidential guard and the guard's commander has declared himself the head of a transitional government. Niger's military rulers have rejected a deadline put forth by the Economic Community of West African State, ECOWAS, demanding that they reinstate President Bazoum or face a military intervention. Here is what you should know. ECOWAS's ultimatum to Niger expired on August 6th, following which Niamey's coup leaders closed the country's airspace, warning that any attempt to violate it would meet an energetic and immediate response, with two of its neighbors, Burkina Faso and Mali, also threatening to retaliate if ECOWAS decides to use force. Thousands of coup supporters in Niger are favoring the general's claim in power, with France firmly backing ECOWAS. Anti-French sentiment is rising in the former colony, while support for Russia has grown as Moscow is against armed intervention from outside Niger. Meanwhile, ECOWAS has also imposed several economic and travel sanctions against Niger, which is one of the poorest countries in the world. It relies heavily on foreign aid and sanctions could further impoverish its more than 25 million people. As the clock ticks, will ECOWAS carry out its threats of armed intervention?